Today our session is going to cover performance monitoring and management, and it starts with the GUIs themselves. This is the Infinibox GUI, so right up front on the dashboard you can see at a glance either SAN or NAS as real-time performance data as well as overall system capacities. The real-time performance data can also be seen from the performance button that I just clicked on, which gives you a panes that show IOPS, throughput, latency, or any additional panes that you want to add to your view. You can also hit the pause button to be able to stop the actual streaming of the performance data to allow you to get a closer in-depth look at the data and allow you to correlate events to these metrics as they are happening in real time. So on the InfiniGuard GUI, similar to the InfiniBox GUI, you are presented with performance data which shows the amount of data that is being read from hosts and then sent to one of the DDE engines. On the right side of the screen, you can then see in the NetBoost section the level of inline deduplication that is being performed along with the overall dedupe ratio. The next tool is the Infinimetrics tool which gives you the ability to take a look at performance data up to a year in the past. It is downloadable from our repo site, and upon first firing up the tool, you can see both SAN and NAS data for IOPS, throughput, latency, to give you an overview of what's going on in the system. With the drop-down on the upper right, you can look at this data from now for the last hour, the last three hours, the last day or several days, or throughout the entire year. You can also use the calendar function to be able to pinpoint very specific start and stop time frames that you're interested in. You can also save this data to a local CSV file for historic reporting. On the left hand side, there is a pull down which you can review read performance where you'll see more detailed information about how the system is handling reads in terms of cache hit rates and the resulting read latency which is providing detailed information about cache management. Here we also provide information at the pool or at the host or at the volume level. You can also review NFS file system data providing information at the file system or host level. You can also review performance metrics regarding replication data. Finally, you can review fiber channel data at the port level to review port IOPS and throughput activity for balance and latency. The next tool is Infiniverse. This is more of an overall system management tool that allows you to take a look at trending of multiple InfiniBoxes and InfiniGuard systems. It is a free cloud-based tool utilizing our home, call home feature to be able to review more detailed information for trend reporting on both performance and capacity. If you take a look at any one of these specific systems here, you'll be able to see what kind of overall trends that are going on on the specific system. So as I click on a particular machine, in this case, uh, this machine indicates a 29% utilization of physical capacity at this time. But you can see over time here the physical and virtual capacity that's being used increases. This gives you an idea of growth trends over time or if there are any applications that may be consuming more resources than you may have planned for. The tool also allows you to create reports regularly and automatically send them to a group of consumers to review.